There's no denying it. Climate change is what will bring about the end of our civilization. Just like the many different ways climate change has already contributed or caused the downfall of many of Earth's greatest civilizations throughout history. From the ancient Harappans to the Egyptians, the Greeks and the Romans, how did climate change bring about the collapse of such great civilizations? It can be argued that the main driving force of a civilization's collapse is due to climate change, since, to quote Izar and Zonar, all human cultures were, and still are, products of their environment. French hypothesizes that earthquakes helped cause the collapse of Mycenaean Greece around 1200 BCE because their overstretched economy and failing trade was not equipped to deal with a large number of catastrophic earthquakes. Moving away from natural disasters of a shift in the Earth's crust and more towards drought and famine brings us to the collapse of the Harappans and Egyptians. In their weakened state, the Harappans' ultimate demise lays with the invasions of the Aryan people. Padma Marian quotes Chidaro in stating that with the collapse of Harappans to be so susceptible to invasion and demise from the Aryans were environmental factors such as devastating floods, a shift in the course of the Indus River, and the exhaustion of soil fertility may have accounted for the demise of the civilization. All of these factors lead to food so shortages, which lead to riots, then war and rebellion, just like what happened at the end of the Old Kingdom in Egypt, when the Nile River dried up. In Climate Change, Our Common Future, Professor Farki Hassan states that the River Nile, the source of Egypt's civilization, stopped irrigating the land due to a drought and caused famine. To quote him, the government collapsed. Famines ra ravaged the rural population, violence erupted, and the whole country slipped into a state of chaos. But Mother Nature would not stop there. She had her sights set on an even larger civilization that formed an empire the likes of one we will never see again. Based on evidence from tree rings and ice core samples, the ancient world around Rome too encountered a drought in the 4th century. From 338 CE to 377 CE, causing a significant drop in trade and agriculture, which weakened Rome's economy and resulted in a famine. It also forced the mass movement of the Huns westward, driving the Goths downward into Italy, destabilizing and sacking an already bloated Roman Empire. All of these factors lead to the collapse of arguably the greatest civilization and empire the world has ever known. Although each of these civilizations had different factors that led to their ultimate demise, whether it be the Romans invading the Greeks, Aryans wiping out the Harappans, Goths sacking Rome, or the Egyptians tearing themselves apart, there is no denying the overlaying factor of climate change. Earth, which gave rise to countless great civilizations and empires, is also their downfall. As it will be with our civilization, if we accept Earth, specifically Mother Nature as our God, the creator of our civilizations. Then what is said in the Bible, in the book of Job, passage 121, The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away, reigns true. The earth, who allows us to live and erect such great civilizations, will also be our ultimate downfall.